The San Diego sector of the U.S. Border Patrol is on track to arrest a record number of sex offenders. Joining us to talk more about the arrests is Chief Patrol Agent Aaron Heitke. Mr. Heitke, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So with, within the scope of this interview we're doing today, are we? I want to make sure I've got this straight. We're talking specifically about people who cross into the U.S. at our southern border illegally. Your agency apprehends them and discovers that they are sex offenders. Correct. Yes. Okay. How does how, talk us, to us about the process, sir? <clears throat> okay. You know, as as a, a whole, the U.S. Border Patrol is here to protect everybody in the United States and the, our country from everything that comes into this country around the ports of entry, and so we focus on identifying everything and everyone who comes in. And this year, we're on on tap to uh, set a record as far as the number of sex offenders that we've apprehended. So we want to focus on the, the idea that uh, we're doing everything we can to protect everybody uh, within the United States and focusing on these, these particular criminals. Um, we've got a, a large number of them this year that, uh, that we've apprehended. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering about how you would find out, because if, if they're undocumented and they come across, they have no identification, they could use a false name, just, you know, send you down a rabbit hole somewhere. How do you find the information that, that how do you find out that they are registered sex or not registered, just that they have a sex offense on the record? Correct. Correct. And we run their prints. We everybody who's apprehended uh, coming into the country is run through our, all of our systems, uh, the federal systems, and uh, we identify them by fingerprints. And then there, it's cross-referenced through the federal and state uh, um, criminal databases, and we can find out that they've been uh, apprehended, uh, arrested in the past for various different offenses. And then we can find out exactly who they are, whether they use a fake name or not. We will find out what they've been uh, apprehended for in the past, and then uh, find out exactly who they are. Okay. For, for sure. Yeah, to find out exactly who they are. Okay. Um, what? I, I guess I'm trying to figure out if the if the cartels are involved with this at all. We hear a lot about the, the cartel activity, whether it's drugs, sex trafficking, anything like that. Are they being aided by cartels or any particular organization in a certain percentage of cases? In many, in many cases, they are aided by smugglers, um, whether it's cartel related or smaller organizations, but they are, they're helped in most, in most uh, cases by some smuggling organization to, uh, to help them into the, into the country, um, depending on location and, uh, and the ways they're, they're brought in. But oftentimes they are aided and they pay organizations to uh, help them come in illegally. Okay, so once you apprehend somebody, you determine that they do have, uh, they are a sex offender, what happens to them after that? Well, then we're going to process them depending on what uh, level of, of crime it was, but uh, they're going to be removed from the country. They're going to, depending on, on um, if they've been uh, removed in the past, they may be brought up on a um, reinstatement of deportation, which will bring about a criminal sentence here in the United States. They'll be put into detention here and serve, uh, serve a period of time in, in jail before they're removed back to their country of origin again. And what are the biggest challenges that your fellow, you and your fellow Border Patrol agents face with regard to this? Right now, I, uh, I think nationally, probably worldwide, COVID is one of the biggest challenges that's, uh, that's affecting everything everybody does. Um, it, it limits detention space within the country. Uh, the jail system has, has limited uh, space because of COVID to keep everybody separated. Um, that's always a, a difficult uh, thing to deal with. The, the numbers, um, numbers of people um, is, is difficult uh, to single out, um, to find out, identify every single person that comes across uh, takes time and um, is not easy, but uh, the agents are fantastic, do a great job at, at finding the, the backgrounds and exactly who everybody is to get them processed in, in the proper way. And is there a COVID-19 testing process in place for those who are apprehended? Within the system, everybody is brought in, they're health screened before, before we bring them into uh, any of our facilities. We do not specifically test the, the individuals that are, that are apprehended. 
Okay, Chief Aaron Heitke, thank you so much for your time, sir. We really appreciate it and appreciate all the hard work you do on our southern border. Thank you.